do you deal with those who need religious faith? And I think that would, I guess, primarily go to the warrior position, if that for you even makes sense. Bad question. Nobody needs it. Why do you think they would? <laughs> Since whoever asked that question, if you'd like to tell me why you think people need religion, why do we need bad reasons to be good? I want me to just act want that answer? Yeah, fire off. No, it's okay. You can explain your question. Yeah, please. That is probably the absolute central draw of religion is the need. The need for explanation, the need for certainty, right or wrong, but the need is, is profound. It, it exists. We, we have evolved curiosity uh, because we need to draw in information about the world in order to get around it. Um, but I don't think uh, that secularism negates that at all. Uh, in fact, I think our answers are better. We learn more through evidence, we learn more through reasoning. So uh, I would say to people who think they need religion for that uh, reason, that they're actually selling themselves short. Can I give an example? Um, and this may just get to the idea of context again. I mean, for instance, if someone, if you're talking to someone and they say, you know, my spouse just died and I, I know that he's up there looking down on me and it, that makes me feel, you know, really comforted to know that he's in the arms of Jesus smiling down on me. Is that, you know, a good time for mockery and confrontation? <laughs> That's a good time for punching. Tell them to man up. No, don't do that. Um, you know, we, we hear this so often in the atheist community that, you know, atheists, you know, we're not out to change anything. We're out to take away people's hope. You know, that their ancestors are up above, or that they're going to live forever. And the thing is, that's not hope. It's completely empty. There are so many problems facing us. Our own mortality, our own curiosity, which isn't a problem, but the, the lack of information uh, for it. Um, and the thing is, the way to beat our problems is not to imagine we've already found the solution. If we want to live longer, spend more time with, with our loved ones that we you know, miss after they die, the solution is to find ways to invent technology that keeps us from having to work in a field all day just to eat that night so we can spend more time with them. The solution is to apply our rational mind to finding ways to extend our lives, which we have. It's not just to think the problem's solved and call it a day. You know, our salvation from our problems is not faith, it's not irrationality, it's just plain old human intellect, and that's what I would say to those people. I'd like to comment on that. Um, I think that is a very difficult issue. I know there's uh, people that I know that uh, they, um, that you have relatives or loved ones and that they may be on their deathbed and that you don't want to have that conversation with them because, I mean, what, what's the cost of that? And I, I think to get to the, the issue of uh, whether they need it or not, I don't think that, to me, that that's not particularly the issue I think lots of people can subjectively need lots of things that maybe humanity as a species doesn't necessarily need in principle. But uh, the real thing is subjectively, right now, as uh, people are slow to change. And so change generally happens over generations and not with like as so much as individuals. And so a, the diplomatic approach favor seems to work much better with that um, in the long-term process because we can, we're more likely to be able to work with them on individual issues rather than you know, trying to convert absolutely everyone to our entire worldview all the time. If we focus on more specific uh, things that cross cultural lines that say, hey, this is a problem for everybody, and if you're not well known for just attacking them in general, they're much more likely to work with you and make progress on a specific issue in the immediate term, and then that can add up over time. Um, let me add on that I don't think you should charge into a hospital room for someone who's just had a relative die and be like, ha ha, you know, that's not hope at all. No, One there, day we'll have technology to say. I know, there, there, there's a, <laughs> but that day ain't today. No, uh, <laughs> there, there's a time, there's a time and place, but we should not have it. That's a double negative. We should have that conversation, even though it may be an emotional issue for people. We must have that conversation at some point, and we can't let emotions uh, keep us from it. 
Yeah, I, I, draw, I draw the line at science and solidarity. Like, if it's actually affecting us getting along, that's an issue. And if it's not, then I leave it to other people to believe whatever they want, as long as it doesn't affect other people. So. No, it's okay. <laughs>